Today I'm in Marfleet, an area in the southeast of Hull, East Yorkshire, and I'll be talking about the mast which is behind me, which is an EE 5G site. At approximately 25 metres, this tower is quite tall by UK standards. However, we're more interested in the antennas and equipment which is mounted at the top of the mast. This mast's head frame is quite busy, so I'm going to work through it step by step kind of thing. So there are two sets of antennas here. So on the left and third from left are Huawei AOC 4518R8 V06 antennas. Mm. These have an awful lot of ports as you'll be able to see from the bottom of there and from the amount of feeders going in there. So these antennas carry EE's 44R L18, both carriers, so 1667 and 1811, and L21 as well. And alongside that, they're L26 in 2T4R. As the mast has both of EE's L26 carriers, this has 80 MHz paired of LTE spectrum deployed for EE, 45 MHz of it in 44R. In fact, it has so much spectrum deployed, I've been getting 300 megabits per second in various carrier combinations because unfortunately my device isn't sufficient to be able to fully take advantage of all this site has to offer in terms of 4G. For those curious, all that 4G comes off three remote radios per sector. A 3262, which is for the 2T4R2600, and then a pair of 5507s for the 1800 and 2100. Each 5507 is 2T4R and therefore they're doubled up to be 4T4R. Enough about the 4G though, what we are here for is the 5G on this mast. For this, the remote radios there are being used and they are Huawei RIU5258 and they are 88R for 30 500 megahertz which is what EE's 5G is going to be not millimeter wave but 3500 megahertz which is only not too far spectrum wise frequency wise above the 4G 2600 megahertz and for this there are special feeder cables as you can see there and the ports as well don't just have a single RF feeder going into them effectively they have multiple in order that there aren't a million ports at the bottom of the antenna making it absolutely huge. Just before I end I realise I've not spoken about the other three antennas on the mast which are Comscope Chiffle Banders and these are quite interesting insofar as they have radio design active routers behind them which is curious because these panels will be carrying 3's L18 and the MBNL U21 so 3G. So it's a bit surprising that they have active routes at the back, but they might be planning to see some other things in them in future. Cable tag wise, the 4G is using the usual red and blue tags for the 1800 and 2100 respectively, and yellow for 2600. For the 5G 3500 megahertz, they have sort of purpley blue colour tags on the feeders coming off the remote radio there. Thanks for watching this video about EE's 5G 88R site. They also have massive MIMO ones, but I'll cover those in a separate video. Now I expect EE will launch their 5G into the first wave cities towards the end of this month or maybe early June. So I look forward to that.